This is the O Review Podcast. O Review. Hello, welcome to another episode. I seem to be having a lot of things come through my hands lately, so as they come in, I'd like to do a video before they head on out, and that gives me a few more things to talk about. So the thing that actually is passing through my hands right now is the King's Camo Gas Can. And these are actually somewhat hard to find. Um, they've been back-ordered almost everywhere. And what I've heard is that the water transfer machine at headquarters is actually broken right now, so there's just this huge back-order that's causing people to have a hard time finding these and a lot of the other ones. However, I do see some Woodland Camo prints coming up soon, so I'm hoping that with the plans for more, they have some backup, and hopefully we'll be able to find these a little bit easier. So, Oakley's no stranger to having camo prints, or prints in general. A lot of the older stuff, like the Zeros and M-Frames, had carbon fiber, fingerprint, things like that. So they've had prints on a lot of things. And there actually was a prototype camo way back on the M-Frames. It was never released, but someone has a picture of it and actually picked it up from some European retailer. But um, looking back at some of the most common camo, looking at the... Monster Dog, I guess we'll pick that first. There was a... Actually, no, let's step back even further. Before Camo, there was Snow Jungle. And this was mostly available on the straight jacket, but it was also on the trench coat. And I have a pair of fours here. And it was on a few other things. I think there was actually an athlete racing jacket that had it as well. So it was on a lot of different things, but um, it didn't really stay too long. It survived into the goggles for a while, but as far as glasses go, this specific pattern didn't really last too long. And this is more of just sort of a streaking of lines and patterns as opposed to a true camo. <clears throat> so as they started improving or moving to different styles, they actually got a genuine camo pattern, which appeared on the Monster Dog, the Black or Night Camo, there's also a dark camo which appeared on the new straight jacket too. It's a very, it's an even more darker pattern than that. I don't have an example of that, uh, but I have seen it in person, and it's um, without light shining on it, it almost looks just plain black. So I tend to not really like it as much. There was a snow camo which appeared on the SI boot, and that's even lighter than this. It's almost indistinguishable from white, with just a few patterns here and there. But for glasses, it was pretty much white camo, night camo. Then we also have blue camo, which was only on the Fat Cat. Uh, a lot of retailers were actually afraid to order these because they figured they wouldn't sell, which made it hard to find for a while, but then they showed up in vaults everywhere, and they weren't really that hard to find after all. And on the Wisdom, which was 2003-ish, uh, there was green camo. And there's been a ton of camos in the goggles. Goggles have just colors everywhere. Um, they're a little bit more flexible on the goggles, uh, partially because they're cheaper, and partially because you're on a mountain, um, styles can be a little bit crazier as opposed to an everyday wearable glass. Uh, we also had red camo, and this appeared on the Thump as well as the Little John Exclusive Zero. Um, the thing about red camo is that it only comes in polished, whereas these are more of a matte finish. And I think the red camo would be a lot better in matte as well. It just would have a better feeling to it. Uh, the glossy polished almost makes it feel a little bit cheap, but, you know, it's out there. I like it. Now, aside from the splotchy camo patterns, we also had the ba uh, Bass Pro half jacket. And this one I got in Florida at a Bass Pro shop. Um, didn't really have, we don't have really a lot of those around here, so I was able to score a pair of those. Uh, this basically just came in um, an M frame and then an XLJ half jacket and then a normal half jacket. And then that brings up us up to King's Camo. And King's Camo is licensed from King's Camo, which is a very deliberate, uh, they make a lot of camo patterns, but it's a very deliberate um, wood and leafy pattern. And I think um, on this straight jacket too, I like it here because it's broken up by a lot of accents. On the gas can, whenever you have a hinge, the patterns just, they break too abruptly. So I don't really like how it's applied to this. Um, they're going crazy with the King's Camo, or they're calling it also Woodland Camo as more of a generic name. Um, I think it needs to be sort of applied almost sparingly or possibly with some breaks in it. When it's just 
all over the place. Um, some people might like it, some might not. I, I think it's I'm, I'm kind of a mixed bag. But if you want to see the entire camo and it's on the micro bag, the bag has sort of the, the full pattern there. So you can kind of see what sort of the overall pattern that they're going for is. And it really almost looks like a photograph of just leaves and bark and things like that. So, just a real quick video going over some of the camo patterns that they've had over the years. Um, one piece of trivia is that they actually had a night camo umbrella way back when, and they had to discontinue that because I didn't know this, and maybe some others didn't as well, but camo patterns are copywritten, and if you take someone's camo pattern, they can cause you to stop production and sue and all that fun stuff. So, um, the King's Camo is fully licensed, you know, obviously the, the Base Pro Camo is as well. Um, I don't know if these camo patterns are copywritten, but these simil seem similar and they came out at the same time as the Umbrella, but I imagine they're different because they're still able to find monster dogs and things like that in those camo patterns. So, Alright, hope you enjoyed it. I have a few other videos recorded. I will hopefully edit those soon. And as always, have a good day.